ho, 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 ho. Hello, hello. Today, let's talk about the Christmas pickles out there. This is an awesome traditional thing, mostly in the American state areas. It's so easy. Let's talk about the Christmas pickle is a lesser known Christmas tradition for some Americans. A Christmas tree decoration in the shape of a pickle is hidden on a Christmas tree, with the finder receiving either a reward or a good fortune for the next year. There are a number of different origin stories attributed to the tradition, including an origination in Germany. This theory has since been discounted, and it is now touched to be German-American tradition created in the late 19th century. In the tradition, an ornamental pickle is placed on a Christmas tree as one of the Christmas decorations. On Christmas morning, the first person who finds the pickle on the tree would receive an extra present from Santa Claus or would be said to have a year of good fortune. That's better, isn't it? No, it is not. Berrien Springs, Michigan, which built itself as the Christmas pickle capital of the world, held a pickle parade from 1992 until about 2003. Oh, a Christmas pickle parade? That's awesome! This tradition is commonly believed by Americans to come from Germany and be referred to as a Weihnachtsgurke. But this is probably apocryphal. It has been suggested that the origin of the Christmas pickle may have been developed for marketing purposes in the 1890s to coincide with the importation of glass Christmas tree decorations from Germany. Woolworths was the first company to import these types of decorations into the United States in 1890, and glass blown decorative vegetables were imported from France from 1892 onwards. Despite the evidence showing that the traditional did not originate in Germany, the concept of Christmas pickles have since been imported from the United States and they are now on sale in the counter traditionally associated with it. One suggested origin has been that the tradition came from Camp Sumter during the American Civil War. The Bavarian born Private John C. Lower had enlisted in the 103rd Pennsylvania Infantry, but was captured in April 1864 and taken to the prison camp. As the story is told on Christmas Eve, he badgered a god for a pickle while starving. The god provided the pickle, which Laura later credited for saving his life. After returning to his family, he began a tradition of hiding a pickle on the Christmas tree each year. That's awesome. Another origin which comes from Barry and Springs is a Victorian era tale of St. Nicholas, saving two Spanish children who were trapped in a barrel of pickles by an innkeeper, which actually derives from a much more gruesome medieval legend involving a cannibalistic butcher butchering and storing a group of boys in a barrel and St. Nicholas miraculously restoring and resurrecting them. That's really awesome, isn't it? The Christmas pickle is an awesome traditional thing each year all over the world. And I think this should be raised up to your home too. Go out and buy a Christmas pickle and dip them into your Christmas tree. And the one who finds it first on Christmas Day is the best uh, give him the best wishes for next year or an extra present. Yeah. Thanks for watching and have a nice Christmas time out there. And I hope to see you again on my channel.
Sun Sun. Merry Christmas. <lacht>